Today, we get to learn all about the most hyped up girl group in honestly, quite a while. There is so much star power with the members they got and potential in this group that you could seriously be witnessing K-pop history in the making. They honestly shouldn't be called monster rookies, more like titan rookies. This is La Seraphim, and we're gonna cover how they were formed and discovered from pre-debut to training life and now debut. Seraphim is a six-member girl group coming out of Source Music, but also kind of HYBE labels. Because HYBE owns Source Music and helped form and scout the members of La Seraphim, making La Seraphim officially the first girl group HYBE has ever made. Hey, even the founder of Big Hit, now HYBE, the architect of BTS, producer Bang Shi Hyuk, is leading La Seraphim's debut process. Now, La Seraphim debuted on May 2nd, 2022, with the song Fearless, any mini album with the same name, with no fandom name yet as of filming this video. Now, I've covered it before and you already know, Sakura and Chaewon first brought the attention of the K-pop world to HYBE's new girl group when they signed them after Eyes One's contract ended. But trust me, there are much more surprising members in this girl group, and they're already on their way to success. They even racked up over 380,000 pre-orders for their debut album. Pre-orders. So let's learn all about the members. But hold up. Only 83% of you watching right now are subscribed? Is, is, is that you? Well, you gotta hit the subscribe and the bell so you don't miss out on another video like this one. Sakura was born in 1998 in Kagoshima City, Japan. And if you don't know Sakura, well, welcome to K-pop. I, I don't know where you've been living. Sakura was even famous before Ice One in Japan. But let's take it all the way back. It started when her mother took a young Sakura to an opera. And from then on, she wanted to become a singer. She began by being a child actress and attending a music school in third grade. Things really didn't get serious for Sakura until HKT48. This is a Japanese idol group based in Hakataku, Fukuoka, Japan. The world of idols in Japan is similar to Korea, but still very, very different. First off, idols in Japan are more personalities than performers. The standard for dance and vocability is higher in Korea than Japan, but don't let that fool you. HKT48 is actually a group created by the same producers as the biggest idol group in Japanese history, AKB48. A never-ending girl group with members coming in and graduating on the regular. Sakura started out in HKT48 along with other teams and got popular enough and voted into AKB48. For a while now, Korea and Japan has had a close relationship when K-pop was promoting in Japan during the early 2000s, which led to the moment when the newest version of the produced series was in production, and they invited AKB48 idols to compete against Korean idols and trainees to form a new group. At the time, Sakura was busy acting and wrestling here and there, but still found time for Produce48. Now, Sakura stood out immediately but like I said before, the huge gap between Japanese and Korean idols was something Sakura had to overcome, and she did. She improved every single episode. Slowly, the Korean audience began to fall in love with her. Coming down to the nail-biting finale, it was between the now IVE member, Won Young, and Sakura, when it was revealed that Sakura would finish second place. Still debuting in the latest produced group, Eyes One. Sakura made a name for herself in a whole new country in Korea. But once Eyes One's contract ended in 2021, that left a massive question mark as to what the future would hold for Sakura. And honestly, there were so many questions. Would she return to Japan? Would she stay in Korea to promote? Solo artist? Group? Really, there was endless questions. In the meantime, she did return to Japan. But the question mark would soon turn into a bigger one when articles started popping up claiming Sakura met with Hype labels and are in talks to sign an exclusive contract. The home to BTS would soon be the home to Sakura and her new girl group. And just like that, the most recognizable face in modern K-pop, not just in Korea, but Japan as well, was debuting again in a permanent group this time. As Sakura debuted as the vocalist and new face of La Seraphim. 
Chaewon was born in 2000 in Seoul, South Korea. All signs pointed towards Chaewon joining the entertainment industry. Getting her education at the prestigious Hanim Art School in Seoul, Chaewon attended with many familiar faces in K-pop. Following the idol path led her to audition and join Willem Entertainment, where she was a trainee there for only 11 months before Produce 48 started filming. Joined by others in Willem like Hong Eun Bi, Chaewon impressed with her innocence and sweet voice, wowing the viewers and producers of Produce 48 enough to have her finish 10th to debut in Ice One. And just like Sakura, once Ice One's promotions was all but over, her future was in question. Go back to Willem Entertainment, where she would debut solo, or would Willem debut another girl group? It seemed very unlikely. She appeared in a few magazine shoots here and there with not much other promotions. But then, that is when Taewon got a call from Hybe Labels. Seeing this opportunity, Taewon left Willem and signed with Hybe Labels under Source Music, becoming another impressive piece of this new girl group puzzle. As Taewon debuted as the vocalist and leader, of La Seraphim. Yeonjin was born in 2001 in Seoul, South Korea, but would move with her family to New York in the United States. Growing up in the US, Yeonjin is, well, of course, fluent in English. Hi, everyone who's watching both online and offline. Thank you so much for coming to our show. <laughs> <laughs> and I also found out that one of her first experiences in music was singing opera in school. Now we don't know exactly when Yeonjin got motivated to pursue a career in K-pop, but when she moved back to Korea, Yeonjin ended up in a decent K-pop company in Pledes Entertainment, home to Seventeen. She wouldn't get too many pre-debut activities until Produce 48. Yes, Yeonjin was a bit of a crowd favorite on the show. She also got familiar with Taewon and Sakura, not knowing they would later be future group members. Yeonjin didn't make the cut and was eliminated 26th place in the semifinals. Unlike Sakura and Taewon, who came from totally different companies, Yeonjin came from Pledes, which is basically like Hybe, because Hybe back in 2020 became the largest shareholder in Pledes Entertainment, and they became a subsidiary of Hybe labels, making it much easier to work together and transfer Yeonjin from Pledes to another company under Hybe, Source Music, where Yeonjin debuted as the vocalist of La Seraphim. Kazuha was born in 2003 in Kochi, Japan, and her career in K-pop was actually a massive risk for Kazuha. Spending most of her life in Osaka, Japan, Kazuha would get an opportunity to travel to the UK for a career in ballet. That's right, Kazuha was a professional ballerina and was actually a fantastic one at that. She was personally scouted by a famous Dutch Ballerina Academy in 2020, where she won many awards and competitions. Things couldn't have been going better for her young career in ballet, but that's when Hybe representatives came into the picture. Reports came out after the signing of Sakura and Taewon that Hybe representatives went all the way to the Netherlands to meet with Kazuha. Hybe went all out trying to persuade Kazuha to join them and become a member of their upcoming girl group. I honestly imagine it was such a difficult decision to make. She just started a really promising career in ballet, but then this opportunity comes in from Hybe. Kazuha decided to leave ballet behind and accept Hybe's offer, going to Korea and training for only three months. Kazuha really is a one-of-a-kind talent in K-pop. With her body proportions that are perfect for dance, Kazuha brings that to her group debuting as the dancer and rapper of La Seraphim. Kim Garam was born in 2005 in Sangju, South Korea, and she's the member with the least amount of info about her so far. But here's what we got. Originally, Kim Karam wanted to become an actress, enrolling in SOPA, the Seoul Performing Arts High School, in the film and theater department. We don't know how she got into HYBE, whether it was through Source Music, B-Lift, or Pledes, but we do know she was in one of them because she did feature in N Hyphen's music video for Drunken Days. Once she was brought in and met with the members of her future girl group, they described Kim Graham as adorable, cute, and funny, even though some people wanted to paint her in a different light with misleading and false claims about her in school. But now I'm sure we're gonna see that lovable Kim Graham soon as she debuted as a vocalist of La Seraphim. And last but not least, Eunjae was born in 2006 in Miryang, South Korea, and her passion early on was was dance. As she was a student at Deaf Music and Dance Academy in Gangnam, she cherished her time there as she said it helped her erase her mind of hard and bad things in her way. 
After two years in the academy, eventually she would want to take it further by auditioning for K-pop companies like JYP and Pleda's Entertainment. Pleda's staff probably had her come in and audition again to later join Source Music in January of 2021. Building out this new girl group Hive had in mind, Inche was revealed as the third member of their new girl group. And now Inche debuted as the vocalist and magne of La Seraphim. 